when there's trouble, you know who to call. It's Ashley Victoria Robinson, your video producer and host here in the Popverse, a virtual realm created by Read Pop, where we are celebrating the best in TV, movies, and comics. Today, we are here to discuss some exciting DC Comics news. I want to let you know before we get started that if you want more articles, videos, socials, fun stuff, uh, panels, <laughs> you can go to thepopverse.com for everything that we are getting up to each and every single day. Okay, now that that's out of the way, friends, we recently got some very exciting news from Warner Brothers and DC Films. We learned that a Titans live action movie is in development as part of James Gunn's new slate of DC Films. I want to talk about this. I am a huge Teen Titans fan, if the outfit didn't give it away. But I simply cannot do this alone. So please put your hands together in the traditional theater kid round of applause and join me in welcoming our staff writer, Graham McMillan, to talk about Titans. Welcome back, Graham. Did you ever think we'd do this again? I never, never. I never thought I'd talk to you ever again in my life. And especially um, so, about this. Can we talk about this? Also, nice top, by the way. I'm clearly cosplaying as Robin, so I was asking, which Titan are you cosplaying as today? I'm, I'm cosplaying as the chief I'm in a Doom Patrol cameo. <laughs> I kind of love that, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Look, in, the, in what, issue four or something of New Teen Titans? The Doom Patrol show up really early in the in the movement for Teen Titans. Yeah, and we have a lot of crossover, like with Beast Boy specifically, but like Cyborg does a lot of crossover between yeah. the teams. And it was <laughs> recently announced that in the new James Gunn DC Films slate, we're doing a live action Titans, Teen Titans, and this news was dropped on six o'clock on a Friday. Which is, I mean, okay, never mind the six o'clock on a Friday thing, which was in itself wild. Why? We're getting a live action Teen Titans movie. I mean, I was surprised when we got a live action Titans show, but we're getting a live action Teen Titans movie. What? This is a, this for me is, I will file this where I filed the Preacher show and the Invincible show and the Deadpool movie. And I will say, I will believe it when I see it because. Okay, but all of those things happened. <laughs> they did, but they took almost 20 years or over 20 years in most. And the reason I say that first and foremost is is not because like if, if anyone watching doesn't know, like Teen Titans are my favorite team in all of comics. Like I, I am very excited by the idea of this, however, they announced Titans, the television show, which was supposed to be on TNT. Does anyone remember that? During oh, I, season, I it was either two or three of Arrow. It didn't air until <laughs> Arrow was almost finished, which was a full six five years, or six yeah. years later. So I, I just want people to understand that the original slate of DC films, all of the things that were announced under James Gunn, except Creature Commandos, were things that were already in active development were already in scripting phases, already had had rooms. They were not things that he brought to the table or he negotiated with DC. They were things that were happening regardless of who's gonna be in charge of them. He brought in Creature Commandos. If you know his work, no surprise. Now we're starting to get things announced that will have to be remade whole cloth. And that just takes a lot longer. So I'm also trying to temper my excitement with the understanding that it's it's a long ways off before we might see this. I mean, it got announced after, like you said, the original slate. The original yeah. slate has six films in it, I think? Yeah. Five or six. Yeah. So even if they're producing two a year, which they're probably not, we're talking like a good four or five years away. I mean, if you're being, if you're being ambitious, I think if you're being generous, you're looking closer to 10, honestly. Yeah. Which is, you know, it's, it's not anytime soon, which yeah. is in itself crazy. Cause that means that the actress playing the Titans are probably younger than 10 right now. Which, yes, which is also something you have to consider because, and, and, and it pointedly says Titans, not Teen Titans. Mm -hmm. However, even if you're not going with an under 20 cast, you are going with an under 30 cast, which means yes. you're probably casting people who are 25 mm -hmm. at the time of shooting. Um, so who, who, you know, will look young and good and have enough makeup on that we won't be able to tell until they're maybe like 38. Okay, uh, okay. You, but it's you trickier said... casting than it is with like a Batman or a Superman who we sort of generically think is like 30 to 40 years old. You said Teen, you know, Teen Titans, Titans. Yeah. Which Titans is it? Because when someone says Teen Titans now, you automatically think of the new Teen Titans. The Wolf right? and Perez team, yeah. But they're not the first Teen Titans. 
Graham, I'm so glad you brought that up because <laughs> if uh, people don't know, in 1964, we got the original Teen Titans cast and they did not look like the new, they actually looked probably closer <laughs> to the Young Justice lineup, but they don't really look like that either because they're just literally the Justice League sidekick. So it's yeah. all of the legacy characters. So yes. it's, it's Dick and Aqualad and Wonder Girl and Kid Flash. Speedy. Am I missing someone? Yeah, Speedy. Oh, and Speedy. Um, well, I said Kid Flash. Oh, no, Speedy is a uh, red arrow. Yes. Uh, there we go. That's how you pull a bow and arrow. Absolutely. Is yes. Speedy like this? Like this and like this. And then Robin is like, ching. Okay, but uh, I, I love the original Teen Titans a lot. Is tell it me why. the new Teen Titans you love? The new Teen Titans is what I love because... I came into the new Teen Titans. I have my first, the first comic book issue I ever got is right over here. Oh, Hold, what, please. Yeah, so I was going to say, what is it? Because I was buying new Teen Titans when it was being published. Now you can all it, see that I'm was... wearing sweatpants that might be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it was Wolfman, uh, it wasn't Wolfman Perez when I was buying it. It was Wolfman Eduardo Barreto when Ooh, I was buying okay. it. So but that's this... how old I am. This was the so first really comic. Curious. It has a different comic in the back, but this on the front is the first comic that I ever bought. From a I'm, quarter bin. I really want to see what it is. <gasps> it's a good one too. Yeah, it's tight. It's um, it's like the the heroes no more kind of version. It's, I bought it's it because Dick quitting his Robin before he becomes Nightwing. That's it's, right. It's like a big issue. He's got really hairy legs and this really hairy thighs. Um, I got this because out of a, a really uh, a quarter bin in a really stinky comic book store in London, Ontario that I think doesn't exist anymore because my dad gave me a toonie and I was like, I can get eight comics for this. I don't know anything about continuity. I'm six. And I loved <laughs> Robin. And obviously like I knew this was Robin and the cot, like it's a very evocative cover. Yeah. Um, and this was how I kind of, I knew he became Nightwing because of Batman the Animated Series, but this was my first into one, the Titans existing and two, how Dick made that transition. And this is the same copy. And, um, a few years ago, I had I accidentally had lunch with Marv Wolfman at a Comic Con in Phoenix, Arizona. We were just all in the same green what room. What a wonderful name drop, though! I yeah, accidentally yeah, yeah, yeah. had lunch, <laughs> and I told him, and I and I didn't have it with me, but I told him that I that this was my first comic, and he was very kind about it. So that's why I was not alive when the Teen Titans was originally published. <laughs> but that's why. They like that's why it sort of like lives rent free in my brain and means so much to me. Was was Robin obviously huge for me, um, but then that team, and then Ra as like a moody young girl, Raven is big for, for me as well. <laughs> um, the first time I ever read a Jason Todd appearance, yeah, was when he guest stars in New Teen Titans. There's like Ooh. a two-parter where he where they basically get the original Teen Titans back together and Jason Todd replaces dick and that's the first time i ever read jason todd in the comic and that was when he was still very much a dick grayson clone it was kind yeah, of yeah, before he, was, he, he developed was, yes it was before he was moody and, and grumpy it was when he was like oh shucks i'm just happy to be part of the team jason jolly Jones. g chum yeah um, but um why, why do i love the original teen titans you asked yes because i think they're really embarrassing in such an entertaining way i genuinely love the bob haney I'm down with the kids, but I'm clearly not. And so I'm going to try and make up all the slang thing. Oh I love God. that they call each other like Wonder Chick and Flashster. You know, I, I love all of that. The Teen Titans Christmas issue from, I don't know, 67 or something, where they redo a Christmas Carol, but it's in like, you know, fake 1960s hipster slang is the greatest thing in the world. It's so, so great. Because it's Ebony's or Scrounge as well. <laughs> yeah, I love I love that team a lot. I but I love the the new Teen Titans as well. Because like you, like you got it out of Quarterbins. Mm -hmm. As I said, I was buying it at the time, and there is something about you know Beast Boy who is forever changeling in my head because of that oh run, right? But like he is like he is the the wise cracking fun loving hero in my head. You know, Cyborg is always going to have that Perez design. Oh, yeah, and, with and the have, big red. Yeah, and have, like, you know, the chip in his shoulder that isn't yeah. really a chip in his shoulder because he's got the heart of gold. Like, that characterization of all of those characters is and, like when Starfire's hair version. isn't big enough, you're like, why does she look like that? Yeah, exactly. And also, But also, when Starfire, 
fire flies. It should always bear hair. Her mm -hmm. hair should leave a trail. Always. Like, these are just core parts of these characters for me. Wonder Girl he... is, is always Wonder Girl. Like, even Troya or all of the, like, the black outfit. No, it's, it's, that's not who she really is. All of those no, things. It's, I do love her romantic relationship with Kyle Rayner during that era, but, like, yes, she is Wonder Girl. <laughs> You're not into Terry Long, who is on so many levels an incredibly problematic character. Oh boy, I sure am not. I mean, my Kyle Rayner ship um, is actually with um, Saronic Natu, daughter of Sinestro, as well. So, like, I don't ship Kyle and Donna with all my heart, but I did like that little, I thought that moment made sense. <laughs> the black outfit is, is also iconic. I think it's one of her best costumes, but she's Wonder Girl. Like, that is... Now they just call her Donna Troy, which is so not fun at all. <laughs> no, she's Wonder Girl. She's 100% Wonder Girl still to this day. But no, it's Teen Titans is great for the same reason that so many of the DC things are great, which is it's such a core idea. Like Green Lantern mm -hmm. is a guy with a magic wishing ring. Flash is a guy who runs fast. Teen Titans is like, they're kids who want to grow up to be their heroes. Yeah. That's, that's yes. such a, a simple idea. And that's why... I will die on this hill. Like, I will die at 98 years old screaming about this. This is why the legacy characters in DC Comics are so much more interesting than, like, the regular, regular Justice League generation, the, like, OGs, is because you have all of the fun things of, like, dealing with being a superhero. You have the soap opera undertones that you also get in, like, uh, X-Men comics over at Marvel at the time of, like, who am I going to kiss? Because we've all kissed each Like, if you don't think all the Titans in the have touched all the other Titans, you're wrong. Um, but you also have all these characters coming into their own in the shadow of Batman, Superman, The Flash, mm -hmm. Green Lantern, Wonder... Like, you have that added pressure, which is something that if you understand nothing else about these characters, you understand that. And I think that's why, like, Dick Grayson is inherently more relatable than Bruce Wayne. I think that's entirely true. And, and also... I think teenage because you're saying you know they both touch each other and i was like oh it's legion of I mean, superheroes let's be honest no, they're all no, really but hot it, but it's also it's all legion of superheroes as well which is the yes. same thing but teen superheroes are so great because the the melodrama makes much more sense right when it, you're looking at superman or batman who are ostensibly you know mid-30s if not early 40s it makes no sense that they would go through all of these, like, melodramatic, like, oh, does she love me? I don't know. I will have to think about my feelings for two days. But when they're 16, sure, 100% go for it. We were all like that. And they will say it with their full chest, and they'll oh, mean yeah. it. Okay, exactly. But, but I honestly think you're, I think the generic age range on Batman and Superman is too young. We once did an episode of my podcast Geek History Lesson where we built our ideal Batman timeline and we aged them in real time and my Batman is like 47 years old so when they cast Ben Affleck I, mean, like, I was like this is Batman no but Superman is what canonically 29 forever or something like that which is that makes crazy. me first of all that makes me furious it also makes me furious when they made Barbara Gordon younger than Dick Grayson like I had an absolute meltdown that is not true <laughs> but to your original original question which team is it gonna be I think unquestionably it is going to be some version of the new Teen Titans because here's my, I'm going to just drag my soapbox. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm on my soapbox. I graduated UCB. I'm really good at space work. Uh, here's my soapbox about the new Teen Titans. So the new Teen Titans for the entire 1980s was either the number one or number two best selling comic book on this planet. Um, fighting with Uncanny X-Men, which again is basically the same type of storytelling, the same sort of archetypes, the same sort of conflicts for all of the 1980s. And so if you look at those numbers, they make the numbers on modern comics, frankly, embarrassing. We need more kids <laughs> reading comics. Um, yes. Teen, Teen Titans, the original animated series, ran for three seasons and is beloved critically. Teen Titans Go in two weeks is going to hit its 400th episode. Which is insane. Not as high as my podcast can catch that it's going to hit its 500th episode, but it's going to hit 400 <laughs> episodes. We have a live action television show that was on two networks, survived several mergers and crashes, and went for um, <clears throat> three Four seasons. seasons. Four seasons. And uh, the DC Kids line, which is, in my opinion, DC's most exciting line they've done in years, it is their best selling line. The best sellers of their best selling line are the, the Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo modern Teen Titans stories. <laughs> no, so, it's, again, it speaks to the, the primal nature of these ideas, right? Yeah. And, and Wolfman Perez, I, I love the original Teen Titans, but Wolfman Perez brought in 
for want of a better way of putting it, like the Marvel soap opera aspect. Yeah. And made like created these characters who you you do still just understand by looking at them. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, oh, I know who Raven is immediately. I know who Cyborg is. I know who all of these characters are. And I think they hit on that kind of um, breakfast club thing where if you look at the new Teen Titans, because it is it is at its core, the legacy character team with a couple other additions, really, like with like three extras. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Or if you count Tara, and I count Tara because we stand and we love. Um, you can look at them and you can see yourself, whether you're looking at it as like, who would I play? Or like, who would I be friends with? Or what powers would I have? Like there's very easily something identifiable in all of the characters, but there's a lot more ways to see yourself in them because they are a little more fallible and a little more flawed. And then when you get into like the, the Judas contract storyline, it gets very sad. But <laughs> I also want to ask before we wrap this up, most of the Teen Titans, including the animated movies that the Teen Titans have been in, most of the Teen Titans adaptations deal with the Judas contract. If you're not familiar, that's when Tara appears, um, works with Slade and betrays the team. And then if Jericho Spoilers. is included, Spoilers. For a 40 year old story, uh, <laughs> Jericho Jericho uh, gets nerfed. Uh, I really liked that adaptation in the Titans uh, live action show. But do you think, for the sake of a film, would we just do a straight up origin? We're building the team, we're meeting yeah, the characters. I, 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 think, I think you're going to see, like, they're going to do multiple movies, right? Because you've got to build to Judas Contract. You can't just jump into it and be like, oh, she's betrayed them. Because you don't care if you've just met the characters. You need to at least prove that there's a reason why everyone's upset. Because Tara, before she betrays them, before you know she's a bad her. guy. But you do. You're like, okay, like this this kid's mess up. And they, they clearly need the support of the rest of the team. And you totally buy into it. Yeah. As a reader, you totally go, yes, yeah, this is all she needs. This is what she needs. And so when she betrays them, you as a reader, you're like, no, <laughs> I thought, I thought you were going to have a, like, like a last minute, you know, redemption heart moment. Yeah. And you don't. Yeah. It's my biggest heartbreak is what Tara does to Beast Boy emotionally for the rest of his life. <laughs> like that is like, I think one of the greatest tragedies in the DC Comics universe. <laughs> she is such a, again, not to spoil it, comic that's 40 years old. Yeah. Tara's such a fascinating character. In she's also, I, I mean, she's been through some stuff. She's, it's bad. Oh yeah. It's bad for no, us. No, no. But in a way that I think you almost couldn't do nowadays. There, there's something about, because there is, there's some eye-opening stuff when you look back and you're like, oh, wow, that was okay at the time. But I will, it, yeah, she's explicitly it, it 16 and I will leave it at that. Because that's a yes. whole deeper conversation. No, but all the um, stuff she's gone through, in addition to the thing that you and I are also obliquely talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, like, she's fascinating. She is such a fascinating, screwed up character that you are like... I, I, I genuinely did, to this day, I'm still like... I was convinced she was going to have a redemption moment. I was convinced she was going to turn around the last minute. Because, again, that's what comics have taught you. One of the great things yes. about New Teen yes. Titans is... It knows exactly where you think it's going. And Wolfman Perez, and Wolfman afterwards as well, is very happy to be like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I've also read those comics, something, something else. And that's why they're so good. I think that's one of the reasons why Wolfman as a writer and, and Wolfman Perez as a duo, like they're so in inextricably tied to, I mean, Christ on infinite earth. Um, yeah. Also, Perez has a great run on Avengers with some of the best, uh, Scarlet Witch has uh, Starfire hair and some of the best Iron Man armor you will ever see if you haven't checked that out. I think that's a Kurt Music era run. It's um, a Kurt Music, yeah. Yes, but they are, they're so good at what they do and, and they're to this day still some of the most celebrated creators and I think that's a core reason why Titans has continued to be such a powerful story. So yep. I think... If they have if they have their druthers and if this version of DC films, DC Cinematic Universe, whatever we're calling it, I think if it's successful, we would get three Titans films and it would probably be intro, building the team, maybe they've cropped up in other movies. We're probably gonna see Dick and Batman, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some version of the Judas contract slash the breaking apart of the team, the disillusion, probably a couple characters die, and then a third where they maybe dissolve and introduce a new generation like we get a damien era uh mm -hmm. hero in there and they go off to like be adult heroes that would be how off the top of my head if i You're was like that's, how, that's how i do it yeah that's how I I, do i'm it. just 
I am just excited. Is that is that too funnish to say? Like, I really want it to be How good. dare? Have a hotter take. I, this is the I, internet. I, no, I really want it to be good. I want it to happen, and I really want it to be good. And I want it to be all unknown actors. That I, I, you know, so when I'm, everyone's like, who would you want to play so-and-so? I don't know. I want it to be someone I've never seen before. And I want to completely believe that they're that character. Do you know what I mean? Like, What's... I just want a good com, a good movie. A good comic. <laughs> I want a good comic. I want a good comic as well. What's the one thing you want to see you need for this movie to get you? What's the one thing you need? I want a convincing friendship between Cyborg and Changeling slash Beast Boy. Yeah. You get that relationship right and you're you're good. I want to be Cavalier and be like, I want the theme song. I want a version of the animated theme song integrated <laughs> somehow. But it I know will that be. It 100% will be. I don't know. X-Men fought against it for decades on screen. So they might be like, I know, but I know. I would I would, I would like lay this. money we're going to get the, the Teen Titans song. Um, I also, want a... Hmm? I was going to say very quickly. Um, Teen Titans Go to the Movies is one of my favorite superhero movies. Just in general. I have we're so talking about Teen Titans movies. I think that's from. such a great film. <laughs> it's also one of my all-time favorite portrayals of Superman, and they made the creepiest Superman action. <laughs> His <laughs> eyes come out, and he looks scary, really scary. Um, I want the I want the Beast Boy and Raven romance. It's like one of my core things that I love about comics at all, in DC Comics specifically. And they didn't give us in the live action because I think the actors were like twelve years apart in age. So I would like them to. <laughs> I would like them to kiss, please. That's that's really all I want. Now that we've closed out on that, Graham, tell everyone where they can find you on the internet and share their hot Teen Titans takes with you. Uh, I'm not on the internet. I don't exist. I, I'm a shadow. I, I'm a myth. Um, I'm at Graham I am on Twitter and Blue Sky. Thanks for joining me, Graham. However you like your Titans, whether you like them teen or whether you like them full grown, this is going to be super exciting news. It's definitely something that we are going to be following here in the Popverse. So if there's more that you want to know about Teen Titans, if you're excited about the news, please let us know in the comments section. And for more, of course, visit thepopverse.com where we're celebrating the best in TV, movies, and comics. Oh, the Teen Titans fit all of those categories each and every single day. I have been Ashley Victoria Robinson your video producer and host here in the Popverse. If you like these videos, please subscribe and click that little bell so you never miss a ding dang thing that we are getting up to each and every single day. And of course, consider getting yourself a Popverse membership because that way you get to see all of the stuff that we're getting up to all the time. Alrighty, my friends, stay safe and I will see you next time.